If you like Bloxburg and you like hotels and you like watching someone build for too many hours because I'm spending what feels like decades building a massive hotel for my friend Ash and I to run together. So please sit back, relax, grab a cup of... You know, maybe don't grab a cup of whatever that is. And enjoy the first episode of building Malibu Coconuts 2.0. Hold on, guys. I'm missing hmm. something. Voila, this is much better. I gotta be prepared just in case a Malibu coconut falls on my head again. Speaking of, I've renamed the plot to Malibu Coconuts 2.0. And without further ado, let's hop into build mode. Ayo, it rhymes. Malibu Coconut 2.0, ayo, let's hop right into build mode, yo. Okay, anyway. I did a lot of striking, and I still don't know what I'm building. <laughs> but I'm gonna take inspiration from all the TikToks, Pinterest stuff I watch, and I guess we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna go for a very big hotel, okay? We have to have so many rooms that we're able to fit like 50 people in this hotel easily. I'm gonna regret saying this later on. I already know it. Okay, I'm thinking I should do a layout with these plain markings before I do any damage to the plot. So I'm gonna lay out where I want like the water park, where I want the actual build, the gardens. Somehow I made this completely right off the bat. We're off to a great start. This also looks really weird so far. <laughs> This is coming along quite interesting. I guess it's time for me to start placing the walls, which is a little bit scary. I know this is gonna take hours. I'm not gonna get stressed about it. I'm just gonna have fun. This is fun, guys. This is fun. I already made a big mistake. I should color these walls and then duplicate them. I just don't, I just know, don't know what color, color scheme, scheme I, want I want yet. This is this is too much to decide. I think it would be safe to bet on white. So we're just gonna paint this all white so far. And if I wanna make changes later, I can. You know, it just now hit me how big I'm making this hotel. I can already tell that this is gonna be like a three part series. I don't think I've ever made something this big. The last hotel, what, it had like, I wanna say six rooms, which was always a challenge because we had like so many guests and we had to kind of squish them all in a room or a basement, one of the two. <laughs> this time we would definitely not be having a problem. That is for sure. <laughs> So, if you'd like to support me in my journey, I I'm gonna say please like and subscribe, but do whatever you want. Just watch the video. That's all I ask of you. Watch me be tormented and pain building this. I already know I want this to be like a rooftop garden. What if we made mini golf? Fun fact, I actually hate mini golf and I've played mini golf with Annex in real life and I hated it. <laughs> It's just, there's something about it that just makes me irritated. Like, I'd rather be sitting and doing absolutely zero zilch nothing than to be playing Regals. Please tell me if you're in the comments. Please tell me I'm not the only one. I just don't have any I wish there was grand enough doors to put here. Like, these are fun and all, but I feel like we need something like, maybe something so well that there's like not even a door and it's just like a massive archway. But then anyone could just break into my hotel. This way, no one will be breaking into my hotel. That's for sure. Maybe we should have like a prison. Okay, I'm writing that down actually. Prison <gasps> in the basement. I have a list of things I want to include in my little, my little <laughs> hotel. And I've included prison and basement. So I have a question. Mm. For these big modern windows, I don't know if I should be on brand and use one of the actual like expensive window frames or if I should do the classic resizing this really cheap window and calling it modern. As you can see, I am covering this hotel with these big windows. I want this place to be grand. I want people to be driving down the road, actually driving on the other side of Bloxburg, minding their business and they see this. I'm gonna continue placing down all these massive windows. I had this idea to build in a waterfall. Also, I changed the color of the windows. The black was just too depressing. And I think I want this to be a light and cheery build. I want to add some like stepping stones in here, maybe. Some plant decoration. Okay, the lighting added to it. Ooh, okay. With the colors, it looks a lot nicer. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. And that is absolutely perfect. I love it with the waterfall. <laughs> And I'm just taking a look at the outside so far. I like it. I just feel like I could do better. I've done about an hour of off-camera mining, and this is what I got going so far. I've been making adjustments to this quite a lot because I'm just not 100% satisfied with it. I don't know if it's the color scheme or... I feel like it's just this area right here bothers me. But I'm going to continue with the rest of this layout because this is 
taking ages. So as you can see, I added more glass panels. I have a walkway now. And then back here, I've added this section. This is also gonna be just full of glass panels everywhere. I am curious how much this clothes cost. So make your bets down below in the comments now. I'm gonna guess $4 million. <laughs> okay, three million. I'm gonna be safe and safe. So for the elevator, I want to use these fancy ones that are see-through and maybe even stairs. We all know the whole debacle of the left elevator in the first Malibu Coconuts Hotel. Come over, come over here! Come over here! Come over here! Come over here! Uh, okay. The furry is still in it! I'm kicking the furry out. Ooh, our first floor. Holy moly, that is probably the biggest floor I've ever placed. This is this is the strangest build I've ever made, hands down. Okay, so here is some of the rooms so far. These are gonna be probably the basic units that don't cost a lot. And then the really fancy ones will have nice views and will be a bigger layout. But we got plenty of space, trust me. We already have 18 rooms and that's only one side of the hotel. Let me add a roof. You know, our customers might need that. Well, I don't know though. Should we put a see-through roof? But that also could be a little um privacy invasive um you know people could like watch you from the ceiling hello i'm just taking a little poop down here don't mind me four thousand dollar roof oh goodness gracious you know what i could do a glass ceiling Oh, that is sick. Oh my gosh, look how cool that looks. I'm placing down all the big windows that are gonna go in the water park area. And I gotta say, this is quite a tedious job. It's not the most fun thing ever. Voila, that, that is insane. I am so excited. The first basic shape of our build. I'm actually really surprised that it's taken me this long. Two and a half hours. I'm just trying to add some detail to this little overhang area. Voila. I might as well talk about the progress I've made. So over here is going to be the rich people area. I guess you could say east side is for the rich people who can afford nice rooms. And then the west side will be for the more people oh. like myself. Liar! I want to take a look around so far. I'm just a little impatient like that, okay? Oh, y'all, we have a long way to go. Guys, it's official. I'm never gonna be able to leave my room. I'll see y'all uh, in 2027. Whoa, this is beautiful. Let's test to make sure that the elevator works. Okay, we have no problem with that, it seems. Okay, I guess we gotta continue the layout. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go over what I've done. So down here, I've added a bunch of different rooms. We have these little items to remind me, future me, <laughs> about which room is rich. We have movie room, the gym, men's and women's sauna, and that's it. <laughs> We still have a lot more to go, but I have to go. For you, uh, I'll be back in a second. But for me, I'm actually going to go to a... I don't even know what concert I'm going to, actually. I, I'm going to some concert, and I don't even know who it is. Anyway, bye! Welcome back, everyone. It's been about a week later, and since the last time I recorded this, uh, I went to an Olivia Rodrigo concert, met up with some online friends. A lot has happened, but I'm excited to get back to work. I also did some off-camera mining again, and as you can see, I added a lot of new things. So let me give you some updates. Somehow, some magical way, I built this little waterfall and pond here. It just adds some more drama to the front of this build. I finally am happy with the front of this place. I made a lot of adjustments to it, but I think it's good. I should actually change this sign to closed. A little bit contradicting, just like my love life. I don't even have a love life, and that doesn't even apply to me, but that's the only joke I can think of, so. When you come on in, we have this elevator over here, and then has lots of windows. There's even balconies inside. Down this hallway, I added the pool area. Obviously, it's not completed, but I just did the layout of the pool. Hey, it's a love island. Not to be confused with the TV show. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I even added an ice skating ring. Obviously, the decorating will happen later on. But here is the layout of the build so far. We have the TV room. We have the movie room. Ice skating next to it. Over here is going to be the manager's office. This is going to be the laundry room. I don't know why I assigned such a massive room just for laundry. But maybe we can stuff the remaining guests inside these little machines. Don't come stay at my hotel if you want to survive. Anyway, over here, I'm not really sure what this lobby area is going to be. We have the layouts of all the rooms. And then I even added in a basement with an elevator that comes up to the first floor but to enter this little garage parking area you just drive in here and it leads on down so i stole that from a tiktok okay so i'm gonna finally get back to work i'm gonna work on the pool area i'm gonna work on the water slide so the water slides are gonna start up here but to get up there like i said earlier this is not the most safe hotel ever okay our ratings are good for like aesthetics and stuff but for safety 
that's our last priority, especially with Ash as one of our hotel <gasps> hosts. You know safety's really down there. Speaking of what's gonna be down there is your body. Your body is gonna be down there six feet under because I'm gonna add some ladders to get up here if you can climb the ladder safely. We have the start to one of our water slides. I think it would be fun if we had like three different slides you could go down. Make your bets yet again on how much you think this property is gonna cost because each of these little components, three grand, three grand. Guys, use my star code bubbly when buying Robux or premium. I get a profit from that. I legally have to say that. It'd be kind of fun if this one really just went Okay, what do we think? Loki, it's giving tongue. There's even saliva coming off of the tongue, y'all. Ew, I'm kind of grossed out. Should we literally call this the tongue? I'm gonna put a sign here that just says the tongue. I'm gonna work on the green one. Can I put this on here? Ooh, you can. It's gonna be for the big boys. The big boys and girls. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the worm. That is what I've decided to call this slide. So there's the tongue and there's the worm. I added these little transparent parts at random points. That way you can kind of see people once in a while like oh there's samantha oh did samantha just puke on the water slide so time to move on to our final oh. slide i'm gonna use this area it would actually kind of be fun if it came out of this like window we'll see about that oh my goodness who's this nicole what are you doing should hmm. i mess with her should i like place a spotlight oh 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 dance girl dance i gave you the spotlight what is nicole doing here i'm pretty sure she's at school right now <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna let her be while I continue on my little slide here. I'm gonna have these somewhat interlap, which might be a little dangerous, but dangerous is my middle name. It was really cheesy. We're gonna play a game of spot the difference. Can you spot a difference between these two frames? That's what I thought. I'm hoping you can't, because if you can, then you know that you could somehow break the building this way. But I'm gonna color these water slides, which I definitely should have done beforehand. Okay, we have to try these out before I continue on. Whoa, oh goodness gracious. It seems as though the ladder works well. Maybe we won't have so many deaths in on our- Maybe we- oh, okay, okay. It starts off slow, and then- It just kicks you right off. You know, I like that. That's a 10 out of 10. I, Annie, approve the tongue. Here is the worm. Okay. Here we go. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Whee! Whoa, 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 Oh my gosh, this is a fast slide. That's fun. I really like this last little part where it goes round and round. Okay, that doesn't seem to have any problems either, other than giving you like vertigo. I don't even know what vertigo is. Editor, put whatever vertigo is on the screen. And the final one, I'm naming the tear since it's blue and you'll probably get tears in your eyes from writing it. So this one, you go outside. Oh, that's kind of fun. It slows down and then, oh. This is why I test ride things. You're gonna get a tear because you're stuck here forever and you're crying because you miss your parents. It has a nice ending. I just have to fix that part where you get stuck. I always forget that we have pool lights. So I'm just gonna place these randomly all over the place. I wonder what it looks like at night. Ooh, okay. Oh wait, these pool lights go on the wall? Oh, oh that's creepy. Oh, that's when did blocks work become a horror game? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna work on the gardening in the back here. Similar to how I did the front, I'm just gonna add a bunch of plants. Make it look tropical. Mounting this little pathway over here that you can get in and out of the pool from the side. Emergency exit things, you know. We'll dangle these fairy lights from all these palm trees. Gosh, just fairy lights alone are like $800. The inflation in blocks work is real. This little beige color is the new linen. I've been using it so much. It's my, it's my new favorite thing. My jacuzzi was just reduced to a few little pixels. No. I think I'm going to build like a little tiki stand over here in this corner. I never really use these pergolas. Is that what they're called? But I never really use these, but these are perfect for a tiki bar. Oh, I forgot about these cabanas. Oh my gosh. Cabana. Oh, no, no. I'm going to place these absolutely everywhere. And we can charge like an arm and a leg to stay in them. So we obviously want an ice cream machine back here. We'll also serve fountain drinks. How do we make this fountain drink stand look not so messy? That looks a little nicer. Oh my gosh, what if we had like this guy chilling so people could watch a movie in the water and then we can get all these like pool floaties like these and have them all be facing the TV. Oh my gosh. 
hire me. Why do I have 43 frog projectors? Here's how it's coming along so far. Over here, we have the TV area. We have the little kids play area. Got a cute little waterfall over here. Here's where the cute lifeguard guy sits. That's gonna be me. Over here is going to be our little tiki bar. We have a bunch of different snack options. We got some lounging areas. We got these canopies. We have the ice skating area. It's coming along quite cute. Obviously, I have to color everything, which I'm gonna do now. everything and here's how it's looking at night i'm pretty happy with it like it looks like a party i even added the malibu coconut sign does this mean it's time to start decorating the interior is it or should i be naughty and leave that for the next video <laughs> you guys are gonna have to wait and see what i do next in this hotel i know i'm a youtuber i have to leave you on a cliffhanger so if you're not already make sure to subscribe to see me continuing this hotel i'm gonna do all the rooms all the decorating on the inside and then after that i'm gonna do the grand opening with you guys and of course ash so please make sure stay tuned i'm, I'm excited for what's coming but anyways guys it's gonna be it for today's video leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you all later bye my beautiful bubbles